Well, a beautiful looking shot, and at least all those warnings are now done and over with, fortunately. Yeah, that's great news. Yes, so certainly it looks like we're still seeing some of the rain moving through, mm -hmm. but so far the warnings have been canceled and not reissued. But this is what we're tracking right now on the radar. So we're still dealing with this line, as you can see, moving through the Cockeysville area. And yeah, we're seeing some heavier precipitation there. We're seeing the yellow and the orange so far, though, doesn't seem to be quite to severe limits. So we'll be done with the rain later on tonight, and then we're actually looking at a dry weekend. But we had to show you the map and had to leave it in my show in case one of these warnings was issued very quickly here, but no severe alerts to tell you about at this moment. Thank you to our weather watchers. So we're seeing readings here in the mid to upper 50s. Remember, just an hour ago, these numbers were in the low to mid 60s. At BWI, we hit a high of 63 degrees right around 2.30, and then we have the winter solstice at 5.23 this evening. So it is officially winter here, and temperatures, let's see, 59 degrees. This is from our friend Stephen in Perry Hall. Cloudy for you now. So the clouds, though, they're slowly but surely going to clear on out of here tonight into tomorrow morning. One more here, 46. This is from our friend Ron in Ellicott City, tracking a few showers as of 15 minutes ago. 60 on the dot from our good friend Dave in Centerville. Partly cloudy for you as of 18 minutes ago. So thank you so much. Keep in mind, most places have seen one to two inches of rain. So we got another soaker when we factor in what we saw last night into tomorrow. Temperatures here, BWI, we are at 58 degrees. Annapolis, you're a few degrees cooler than that. Westminster checking in 57 degrees. Hagerstown, 59 degrees. As for those winds, well, it depends on where you are. So this is a great way to track a cold front here because you'll notice these areas seeing the winds out of the south. Obviously, the cold front has not moved through yet. However, as we look to western Maryland, those winds are start, starting to shift west-northwest in the wake of that front, and that's the dividing line right there. So 11 miles an hour for Westminster, 19 for Hagerstown. I mentioned that though tomorrow is going to be dry, even going to see a nice dose of sunshine, the big picture will be how blustery it is going to be tomorrow. Let's use the future cast to time out where we go from here. So as we walk through the rest of our Friday evening, we don't see the rain clearing out until late tonight. What we see clearing out overnight is the clouds. So I think tomorrow we're going to end up seeing a nice dose of sunshine. So here we are as we move through the day on Saturday. Not much at all to show you. Sunday is a similar picture, really no changes. We stay dry for Christmas Eve and for Christmas as well. Our sunrise tomorrow, 722. Tonight, eventually, we're going to make our way down into the low 40s. As we look ahead to tomorrow, the 60s, not so much. We are going to top out right around 50 degrees, and then I'll let you know that for Christmas Eve and Christmas, we are going to be in the 40s. So it was spring like today, but it was a brief warm up. It is not <laughs> sticking around. Still 50? Yes, that's not bad. Christmas. Ooh, Nothing to complain time. about, for sure. Absolutely. Thank you, Meg.